So we have declared and we have paid 45 cents per share um, based on our first um, six months of results on our interim results. And that was at that point in time, the 45 cents was a 90.4% payout ratio. So maybe to take a step back, I think this whole concept of payout ratios for the next couple of years will definitely be a key point for discussion. I think it has been a point for discussion the last maybe 18 months to 24 months, but it will definitely be a, a discussion point for the next couple of years, the, the concept of a payout ratio. So in the first six months, we've paid out 90.4%. We've declared the 45 cents, we've paid the 45, 45 cents per share in March. If you look then what has happened in the second six months, in the second six months, um, especially in our SA portfolio, I'll go to that, we have saw a decline in our distributable earnings and that decline, and both Jackie and Ross will talk to that, but that decline was on the back of what we refer to as a tenant relief. Um, and a tenant relief, high level consists of discounts and it consists of deferrals, but like I said, Jackie and Ross will talk into that, or to that. So our core DE for the year, then declined on a 10.5% to 73.1 cents per share. A big focus for us as management over the last six months was improving our liquidity. So the liquidity, the measurement of liquidity, you can measure on different legs or different um, legs. But one talks about your monthly cash flows. I think two talks about your cash balances in the beginning of a period and then three talks about how much of your debt matures within the next 12 months and that like i said was a big focus for 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 the, for the funding team um, what we have managed to negotiate with the banks is that there's no capital to be repaid in the next 12 months and i think that was a big win for us um, and also a principle for us is focus on what you can control um, property values we can't control the mass share price we can't control but managing our liquidity that's definitely something that we can control and we had a number of engagements with the banks um, and Ross sometimes use the word soft rollover and we've negotiated and implemented these soft rollovers so like I said that for the next 12 months we don't have to pay any capital um, with regards to our debt funding um, I would say some of the interest rates did change, but if you take the Mall of Africa facility, for instance, which is 2.4 billion, on the Mall of Africa facility, we had an interest rate reduction. But I would say on a net-net basis, a small uptick in interest rates. The shoppers, I had a look at our um, food count numbers. So for April 2019, so it's the sum of all our shopping centers, except when um, Linwood Bridge and Glenfair. So for 20, April 2019, we had 4.8 million shoppers for that month of April 2019. March 2020, only 900,000. So it came down from 4.8 to 900,000. And then in August, which is last month, we went back up to 3.2 million. So you can say there's 75%, that's maybe less, 65% of what we had in April. And again, it talks to this principle of after COVID, during COVID, and that's why I'm saying, hopefully, from a physical viewpoint, we're at the end of, of a during COVID phase. So that's just the interesting stat. Another interesting stat, um, and Jackie will talk to that, and the principle talks about the diversity of your portfolio, and different sectors have behaved differently. So your retail sector, different than industrial, different than offices, completely different than the hospitality sector. Also, what we've picked up is that different, um, let's say, communities or municipalities or the, the, the economy of that specific municipality has also reacted differently. And when we look at Moirafi Mall, um, Jackie will talk to that, but you can clearly see that the Moirafi Mall behaved differently than a Garden Root Mall and the Mall of Africa. So that is just something interesting that this type of concept of diversity, it's not only your class of property, it's also your location of your property and then your underlying um, tenants. Then if we um, stand a little bit still on the retail portfolio um, for the year, and we've definitely seen a major behavioral shift, um, what COVID and, and the pandemic has brought to the shopper behavior. Um, online retail, has accelerated. 
We've also seen retailers bringing on the micro fulfillment model whereby Checker 6060, where they use their stores as their distribution um, centers. So we've definitely seen a lot of models being launched, a lot of success um, in that space. And sitting back, we say we have to provide as attack a retail hub. Our shopping centers need to be a place where people still can connect. We've definitely seen since opening of lockdown, the restaurants are becoming fuller again. You, um, but we have to be more than that. We need to offer on-demand services for our clients. We need to provide a loyalty platform for our shoppers and also for our, um, for our tenants, as well as a click and collect and distribution hubs for our people. So over the next 12 to 18 months, you'll definitely see a slow transformation as we start understanding the full behavior um, of our shoppers and what our retailers want. How do we fuse this together and really offer something that is all encompassing retail hub um, for our um, shoppers? In the retail portfolio, our collections um, dropped to 88.1%. Um, our rent reversions was negative 8.7% um, for the year. And then our tenant success rate was 68.4%. And the biggest impact on the renewals was um, the econ reduction in space at Mall of Africa, where Pick and Pay took over some of that space. So um, that was the biggest impact, um, was the reduction of econ space. And then just to highlight, and you've also already all read about this in the media, is Mall of Africa once again wanting the coolest mall in Africa. And for that, it's a small accolade, but for us it's a testament of, of really understanding our shopper, understanding um, our market. And, and that really, it talks to you know um, our mix and, and offering the shoppers um, the right kind of um, offering in our mall.